Midday there came a gross darkness, a deep, deep darkness across the face of the earth. And there in that darkness, as death was drawing near, one thief was cursing Christ, cursing the Son of God. And the other thief turned to Jesus and he said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Why did he say that? Friends, he'd been hearing the words that Jesus had spoken. Just seven declarations the Lord made from that cross. That thief heard them and he heard the word of God. And when he heard the word of God, even from the darkness and in the darkness of his sin, even in the darkness of his circumstances, he cried out to Yeshua and said, Lord, he was acknowledging who Jesus was. He didn't understand the depths of it all. All he knew was that he could commit his life to Jesus. Friends, just imagine when that man, today the Lord Jesus said to him, you will be with me in paradise. Just imagine when he got there and the, the welcoming committee were there and they said, well, uh, why are you here? Um, you've been a thief, you've been a robber, you've been a rebel. You were crucified by the authorities. What are you doing here at heaven? They would perhaps ask him. And he would have said, well, I don't know uh, quite how I got here. Uh, uh, and they might have said, well, uh, did you know your catechism? Have you read the prayer book? What do you, well, what's the catechism? What's the prayer book? He knew nothing. But he knew this, he knew that he'd met Jesus and that Jesus Christ had said to him, today you will be with me in paradise. He formed a relationship with this son of God. There this rebel. Friends, the love of God saved rebels, hallelujah. And he saved rebels like me, rebels like you, praise God, amen. But you know, it's not just rebels lost in the darkness because they're at the foot of that cross at Calvary where Jesus revealed and expressed his love. There was a, a Roman centurion, commander of a hundred men, a, a soldier in the Roman army, part of the status quo, part of the authority system. He was there at the bottom. And he too heard the voice of Jesus. He heard the cries that had come from the cross, that center cross where Christ was crucified for my sin, the one who was without sin. And as that darkness came, and as the Lord Jesus cried out his last cry, Father, into your hands I commit my soul, my spirit. And as he cried out to God, that soldier looked up and he said, he said what's recorded in scripture in two ways. He said, truly this was a righteous man. And friends, he was right. Because Jesus was a man, God's man without sin. He was a full human being. But he was sinless. And then in the other gospel in Luke it says, that centurion cried out and said, truly this was the son of God. And friends, he was right. Because Jesus was divine, because God so loved you, God so loved the world, that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever, the thief on the cross, the centurion at the foot of the cross, those people crying out in the darkness, whosoever will, may come. And friends, God is calling you. Why is he calling you? Because God so loved the world, that he didn't want you to be lost and go to hell. One thief on that cross was in paradise with Jesus because he knew his sin forgiven. The other thief in that cross had blasphemed and in the darkness he turned from God. And as he died, his soul dropped down, down, down into the depths of hell where there was weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth, where the opportunity had gone, where mercy was finished, where there was out of darkness forever. But that other thief ascended to be with the Lord in glory. Friends, God is a wonderful Savior. And whether you're part of the system like that centurion was, whether you're a good man exercising responsibility, or whether you're a thief that's just come out of prison or you're being caught, whether you're self-righteous or whether you're humble, friends, we need to be saved. 
And God so loved the world that he sent Yeshua to be the Savior of sinners. He wants to be your Savior today. Bless his holy name. May you receive him personally. That's what that faith did. That's what that centurion did. And it's because God loved and cared and put a value on the lives of men and women. And he cares for you. And he's calling you. You know the alternative? That thief that rejected, who died on that other cross, dropped into hell. Friends, God doesn't want anyone to do that. That's why he said, this son to be the Savior of sinners. He's my Savior. And that's why we sing about the love of God. Because he loved us and gave himself to save us. Friends, will you receive him as your Savior? Will you turn from doing it my way? I'll do it my way. And when you come in God's way. Amen. May God bless you.